It's time for Mr. Berman from NBC5. It's time to bear down. Mike Berman is here to bring you the best of the Bears. There's a Berman. Where? On the Bears. Oh. Every hit. Every touchdown. Every Monday. Berman on the Bears. Brought to you by the Berman Auto Group. On the Big 89 WLS. <laughs> And he joins us now, Mike Berman does. Um, I, you know, you're going to need some sort of medical assistance, maybe a, whatever the football equivalent of a Purple Heart is when this whole thing is over. Yes. Uh, so please put that call into President Biden and let's get things <laughs> moving in that direction. The play of the game? You know, the play of the game. I almost feel like, Mike, it's like Little League time, right? Where you're taking your kid to Dairy Queen after the game and you just go, well, remember that one play? That's what Cole Komet's mom told us. You guys want to hit that since it won't fire? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just like the Bears, there the play go. of the day just disappeared uh-huh. through the screen. <laughs> we'll get back to the really well when uh, the game ended, thought out audio by that's me. The, that's the play of the day. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so listen, Mike, what do we have here? What do we have? We've got a disaster. Is the governor the person that declares the Bears a disaster area? How does it work? <laughs> Well, it sounds like this. Uh, the the segment is off to as good of a start as as the Bears game yesterday <laughs> in, in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, big, big fat. Oh, gosh, where do we even start, guys? Where do we even start? Well, they well, played. I mean, um, they, they... we'll start. We'll start with five turnovers, <sighs> and and four four of them by Tyson Bajan. And, and was um, it three or four in the fourth quarter? I don't know. Let's try and see if we can listen. Chicago in the red zone, where they are tied for fourth this year in touchdown percentage. Bajan looking deep for Cole Komet. Oh, what a catch! Komet goes up to get it, and it's a touchdown for the Bears! All right. Uh, That's the highlight. Uh, just like the Bears, our audio is not really on the same page. Um, so that was Cole Komet's mom. Uh, do you have the mistakes <laughs> of the game? Bajan over the middle, intercepted! There you go. What a play by Marcus Metz! Bajan steps up over the middle, intercepted again, and it's Adebo again, his second of the day. Tyson in trouble, and the ball comes out. Bajan fumbles, it's still loose. Werner scoops it up for the Saints. Uh, you can't make it up. It's just bad, bad, you bad. You know, in his defense, that was so, it's so loud in that stadium. <laughs> is that the deal? You know? I didn't think about that. Mike, did you think about that? It's too loud for the Bears to play? I mean, look, the Superdome is loud, but that's no excuse for five turnovers. I mean, Bajan was like, uh, he was like Oprah giving out cars. He was like, <laughs> you get a turnover, and you get a turnover, and you get a turnover. You know, yeah, I mean, you cannot, you cannot turn it over as a quarterback four times and expect that your team is going to win the game, especially on the road. And Jane, absolutely, in a tough environment. Andrea, and Andrea's is in. It's okay, Mike. Oh, Andrea, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Andrea. I apologize for that. Although the basketball, the college basketball season starts tonight, and I wish you're a line. I Thank you, football. Mike. Thank you, bud. Oh, wow. Jeez, that was unnecessary. <laughs> um. <laughs> in, in, in all seriousness, the Bajan story, over. Which, which we love, you know, it's, over. it's, a, it's a great story. But we're seeing over the last two weeks, we're seeing why, you know, ever, Chris Collinsworth apparently got so much crap for the way that he was building up Tyson Bajan on Sunday Night Football a couple of weeks ago. I, I wasn't I was at the game, so I wasn't watching the TV broadcast, but we are seeing why that's such silliness. And the Bajan story is just such a temporary you know, reprieve from um, from the, the the horrificness that is Bears football. Well, and here's the this problem because is, this. this guy... No, I was just going to say this week the Bears play Thursday night, and you know, honestly, if you're dreading something, get it over sooner than later. Uh, the Bears play Thursday night against Carolina, and I believe this will be the game where Al Michaels jumps out of the booth to his death, and he takes <laughs> Jeff Bezos with yeah. him. Because you talk about the who cares bowl, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, the two win Bears mm. and the one win Panthers. And, you know, it'd be great if Justin Fields gets back to play in this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's Bajant one more time and they give 
Fields an extra week and a half to come back and play against the Lions um, the following Sunday in Detroit. So, yeah, Tyson Bajan, once again, on the national stage, uh, what could go wrong for this Bears team as, as he's been turning it over like crazy and they've been losing? Who is the Bears quarterback going forward, if not any of the people you mentioned? Is it you? Is it me? Is it Andrea? Is it Nick? Sure, we can all try out. <laughs> mm-hmm. right. who, do, who do you think win, Who do you think wins the job between the four of us? I've got a good arm, but no lateral movement whatsoever. Nick is cagey. He's probably more of a wideout. I'd have a good running game. I'm, I'm going with Andrea. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you. I think Mike. it's a good call. Yeah. Hey, you know what though? On the upside, though, at least we only have three days to get it together. <laughs> right, right, you right. Know, and and sometimes and listen, the the Bears' best performance of the season was on a Thursday night. Yeah. Maybe because they didn't have time to over plan and to remember how how deficient they are in so many areas. They just they just let it rip and they won. So maybe we get that again. So Mike Berman, you've been in tons and tons and tons of professional locker rooms for all sports. Sometimes when the games aren't even on, you're in the locker rooms and they've asked me to tell you to stop doing that. Yeah. That's um, weird. But in the meantime, what is the sense of the Bears locker room now? Has losing become such a regular occasion that you just go, yeah, we'll, we'll try it next week? Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't there last night, so I don't know after last night's game. But in the ones I've been in this year, definitely disappointment and frustration. But I don't get the sense that, you know, there's just a totally broken culture. I think that there's an understanding from guys inside that locker room, although they want to win, they understand, you know, there is a process to get from where they were last year to being a competitive team. Plus, you know, you're working without your starting quarterback for the last, um, let's see, Bajan's made three starts. Um, So I, I think there's an understanding that even though they wish they were winning and things were going better, they're not in the ideal situation to be making that happen. So uh, I think I think there's still positivity in there, but you know how does that wane as the losses keep piling up? It, it, it's tough to it's tough to guard against just feeling crummy about losing over and over. Yeah, again. it's just it, it's an embarrassment for a proud franchise and just losing Butkus and the great Chicago Bears. You know if uh, uh, you know eighty five. We keep going back to 85 because we don't have a reference point. I mean, nobody talks about 2005, 6, 7, whatever it was. I don't know, dude. And I look around the NFL. You mentioned other quarterbacks. The Minnesota Vikings won yesterday with a guy named Joshua Dobbs. Listen. Third and four. Time. Catch. Brandon Powell. Touchdown, Vikings. And they have the lead. I thought Joshua Dobbs was a character from Yellowstone. I didn't even never even heard of him. <laughs> um, I've never watched Yellowstone, so that joke does not land for me. I'm okay, sorry. but definitely oh, criticize it live. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Joshua, it's a it's a western. I'll come over and show you. But uh, the point being, you can win with a backup quarterback. Um, the, the point being, other teams in this league win with quarterbacks who join their team four days earlier and don't even know the play. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Like hey, hey, what's the deal with the Bills? Um, I think, I feel like their championship window has Ended. closed. Yeah. 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 That's passed. I feel like uh, in the AFC, Chiefs, Bengals, those, those are, that's the class right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the Bengals were just dog um, bad. Uh, <laughs> do for the first couple of weeks of the season, and now suddenly they, they, they remembered how to play football. They looked great last night. So. And, and, and isn't that a good reminder? Like, the Bills are a good reminder of how quickly yeah, the window's on wild. Window close. Yep, absolutely. Um, the uh, Chiefs win again. Uh, they beat the Dolphins. I really thought the Dolphins would win that game. So did the 50 bucks I put on it. Yeah. Yeah, in Germany, where NFL football was always played. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the Packers won. Um the Houston Texans, it's nobody thought anything about. They're playing 500 football. They're actually playoff competitors. Uh, Bill CJ Belichick. Stroud, their rookie quarterback, terrific. Amazing. Five touchdowns, 470 yards. That's a rookie record. Uh, he's looked dynamite. Bill Belichick crying in his hoodie uh, as the <laughs> Patriots are just awful. We uh, love that. 
And Eagles beat the Cowboys, but that was a great game, and it wouldn't surprise me if those two were going at it all year long. Yeah, we could see that one again. Um, so. But I, I just I feel like I, I like the Eagles. I like that team. I like them to get back to the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, I think you're probably right. And I like the band, too. Um, Mike Berman. Yeah, they're good. They're good. And yeah. BC5, beaten up but not taken down by the Chicago Bears team. Thank you, buddy. Never. Have a great week, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, All right, it's great to have him here. To take Hit the showers, Bears fans. Berman on the Bears brings you the hits every Monday. Brought to you by the Berman Auto Group. Right here on the Big 89 WLS.